Alrighty, this is something random as I don't have to like relearn how to do a live feed. Nah, not really, really, really. I've been away from these for a while. Uh, there's been plenty of training and everything going on in the groups, but I thought I'd come onto my public figure page today or my public page today and just share a few quick things while the um, audience builds. Just going to give you a, a sneak peek around here too. Just to give you a look around the Pullman Resort here in Palm Cove. Um, this is my new little local swimming pool since the new house I've moved into hasn't got a swimming pool. Devastated at that, devastated at that. But whoever's jumping on, say hi. Um, say hi, throw some questions at me. Like I say, I haven't been on here for a while. This is just really, really random. Um, something that I used to frequent a lot. Um, but as you would have seen in the, in the title there, um, getting really, really focused over the last month or so i um, been dealing with a fair bit of stuff on the health front, which has just been a challenge, really, if you would say that. Uh, Brendo, how are you, Legend? How are you, Julie? It is a great spot, Brendo. I'm going to be spending a little bit more time down here now that they've got their Wi-Fi sorted out. As you would know in our world, if we haven't got Wi-Fi, mm. How are you, Julie? Everyone else who's jumping on, big delay in this, but it's really cool and I appreciate you jumping on. Amy Marie, how are you? Rocking along, I think, after our last week you would understand where I'm coming from with this, especially lately. Challenges lately have been fantastic. That's the way I look at them. All these challenges have been an absolute blessing. Um, I'm just glad I've had the guidance around me to, to push me when I need pushing, um, to give me the space when I've needed space. And that's something that you, you need when you're making big ch changes in this world. And um, I've made some huge changes over the last well, two years, really. Um, and it's been really good reflecting lately Whilst also wor wor walking, working, I just got distracted. <laughs> I just got distracted. There goes my serious topic. And you got, you got. He's got the last bit of sun. That's why he's hogging it. Actually, he's gone behind you. I'm gonna sit behind you. Yeah, we're sitting in the sun here. When when I say it's just gone a little bit cold, not really. The water was cold in the pool. Um, but yeah, like what I was saying, just really, really appreciative of the challenges that I've been facing lately, we've been facing, um, but some amazing things have happened and this is what people can get caught up in. Um, and this is what I wanted to share today. So many people in the world can get caught up in all the challenges and forget about the big picture, forget about all the good things that are going on, forget about all the, the wins they've had, not take notice of them, not celebrate them. And I've got to say, I got asked a question by a good mate of mine, Mr. Gordon Mills, just randomly messaged me the other morning, and one of my biggest takeaways from the month, and it was really, really easy for me to say, like I say, I've been struggling a lot with my health and all that, but what you focus on, you're fine, and there's been days where I've let it get to me, but I was instant straight away because I've learned really, really quickly that if you don't celebrate even the little things, the, the other things, the challenges and that, they're going to overtake your life. It's why a lot of people don't succeed in life and why a lot of people aren't doing what they want to do. Because they're still stuck focusing all the problems. That's that's what it is. It's like that's what we're conditioned to do. Problem, problem, problem. Mark, all the way from Germany. Awesome that you're on. Anyone else who's jumping on, say hi. Throw me some random questions. Only going to be on for about 10 minutes because it's going to lead into something bigger later in the week. And I just wanted to share a couple of things. But my point there is. We always seem to get caught up in all the problems and the things that are going wrong. And there's a lot of stuff that hasn't gone my way lately, but you know what? A lot of it's to do with some of the choices I've made, the decisions I've made. Do you know how much easier that makes for me to take ownership of that and just to move on? Take ownership and just learn the lesson and just move on. Having that, having that, I'm just getting messages there, having that mindset, haha, <laughs> and how are you, brother? You've missed me, have you, bro? Maybe that was a little bit of the tactic. Just sharing a little bit here. It's not going to be a really long live stream. But here's the thing. Celebrate them little victories and wins. And when Gordon sent me that message the other morning, I was quick to go, boom, boom, boom. Massive changes, especially on that. But that, that's been amazing. It's a lot of stuff that I worked on last year was relationships and that. And here she comes again. She goes, go away. I'm just going to listen to you. She's going to listen. And this is, this is what puts me off. All right, say hi. You got to you got to say hi. Hello. That's enough. Back, 
back to me. <laughs> this is this is how we are normally, so it's really really cool. But what I wanted to share too, like I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off in a sec, but easy to focus on the wins if that's how you condition your mind to do it. You're always celebrating the little wins, and it's something that I've learned to do. I do get hard on myself when I haven't been able to put in the work and all that, but the more you condition your mind to look at the wins, look at the good in the day, look at the good in anything, look at the good in bad situations. I'm getting shitloads of messages there. It's a little bit annoying. But anyway, that's, that's going to help you move forward when things do really get tough. That, that's key. What do you think on that? Well, you're picking your nose. <laughs> I'm, I'm, look, uh, this is my concentration. I'm listening to what you're saying. Yeah, I 100, 100% agree. Um, and I think maybe a lot of people will underestimate or, um, you know, take the piss, you know, cynical people will take the piss out of, you know, call it just, it's positive thinking. It's, it's so fucking powerful. Like, it, it really, really is. And you can notice that. It's like, if you just, like, right now, for one second, focus on, something that you're incredibly grateful in your life maybe it ants onto it yes attitude of gratitude yeah for example just focus on let's say you, someone that you really love and just think about them how grateful you are for that person how do you start to feel right you've just made yourself feel like that in that moment you've chosen to think that thought you've chosen to create that vibration that emotion right and it your vibration is what is attracting everything into your life and you know there's so many yeah I mean there's so many things like the secret and stuff maybe they did oversimplify it and a lot of people think like oh you can't just dream and positive think and, and then stuff will happen like no of course you gotta fucking take action and do stuff well no shit like <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah it's not just about thinking positive but it's doing all of those things together um, that creates yeah all the awesome stuff into yeah. your life. I like that comment there from Julie. I wasn't going to look at the comments, but can I read that out loud? Keep Steve talking. Nice to hear from him. Yes, it is nice to hear from me, and I, I like listening to the sound of my own voice. No. <laughs> if you ask her, maybe I do. Um, like I say, there's been many reasons for me not doing live feeds, and there's going to be many reasons why you might not see me that much over the next month or two. Um, but what I am going to be showing a lot of, and I said I'd be sharing this, like, firstly, we'll go first things first, is like, we're working together on something really, really cool. Do you want me to talk about that? Behind the scenes of Harmonious Balance. We've got a workshop coming this Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, this is cool. 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. 8 p.m. It's still time to get in. Um, got some amazing people in there already. We've got our own private group. We've done a couple of, well, we could say behind the scenes looks at. There's 40 people in there at the moment. 40 guys. people it's in the really group. Cool. It's high interaction. It's awesome, and it's not not giving relationship advice. It's just showing behind the scenes of what we've done on a personal level to get to the point where we are. To attract the awesome relationship yeah, into just, our lives. Yeah, and that's it. And that's really cool. That's coming this Thursday. But yeah, hit us up for the link for that one, definitely. That's something we're going to be doing a lot more of too. And it's, it's a big thing that we want to do to be able to contribute to more people, to make it more accessible to people. Like a lot of the work we've done and the investment we've made in ourselves, well, if we can't share it with as many people as possible, we don't feel fulfilled. So I think that's a big point of us doing that. Yeah. Um, the other thing I've got coming up, she doesn't get to come with this. I'm going to Peru in two weeks. In two weeks? It's two weeks. It's like Aww. two weeks. She's already missing me. But two weeks. Now, Peru, what's going over there? you got to watch this space is what I'm going to say. There's going to be a production crew. We're going far, far into the jungle. 12-hour boat ride up the Amazon River, apparently. I don't even know if that's in Peru. I don't really know that much. We're going to be working with <laughs> shamans, ancient medicine, and it's going to be a next-level mastermind. What's going to come out of that? Well, we'll have to wait and see. We've already got big plans going forward with a lot of stuff coming out. There's already some amazing people in our team that are doing amazing things. That's going to expand. There's going to be a lot more travel. Of course, I've got to travel to get to Peru, so that's going to be highlighted. Easy. We're going to go to New Zealand very, very soon. We would love some New Zealand people to get involved with what we're doing. I'm going to have to like ramp that right up. Hello, yeah, because apparently she's a Kiwi. I, I don't teach know. him how to speak properly. My goodness, we're, we're going to do a separate live feed on that. But that, that's that's probably it for today. Like I say, we're going to go. We're going to jump just down the beach, I think, for yoga tonight, um, which Sunset is really yoga. cool. Another reason I haven't been able to do live feeds, I've swapped it for yoga. 
and then I have to go and lay down and can't move after it. <laughs> and, he, and he trained his legs today in the gym and then we were just swimming in the pool and I was like, we were doing balances where I was like jump catapulting off his legs. He's like a little <laughs> little kid. It's like really knowing that I'm going to go to yoga after like training legs in the gym today. What do we got? Fear is what prohibits growth. Don't let fear prohibit you. Be what you want to be. Big eyes, big mind. Fear is not real. Yeah, that's cool. You have really nice weather here in Germany. We have snow. Mark, you know what you got to do, brother? you got to travel more. <laughs> come, come here. Come here. It? It's, it's always like this. In New Zealand, where I'm from right now, it's getting cold also. And look at me. I'm in my bikini here. We're by the pool, so... Yeah, so all you Kiwis that watch a recording in this, yes, she wears a bikini everywhere. <laughs> that it's was a... like... That was last year when I was in New Zealand. I was like, that is one of the things that I want... That's how I want my life to be, is I want to be able to wear my bikini every day, wasn't it? And she does. And, and, I, <laughs> and I came here, and I have a bikini addiction, but anyway, that's another thing. Did not know this was going to go down and talk about <laughs> bikinis. Maybe I should have put that in the title and we would have had a lot more people on. Live stream about bikinis, why have I been hiding? <laughs> Steve likes it. Steve has a man keep No, I'm just <laughs> Wow, this went from like seriousness. Now you can see why I don't want to do live feeds anymore, guys. <laughs> I, I, I come on here and I want to add some value and, and share some of the stuff that I've learned that hey, maybe Tracy. help you, but she wants to come and talk about bikinis while my battery gets drained. You're nice and warm. So I nice. am nice and warm. How are you, Tracy? But anyway, guys, if you've got any questions, hit me up. Um, like I say, about what's going on, what's been happening, flick me a private inbox definitely um, my team's going fantastic shout out to you guys um, that's something that we've been working on hard and doing a lot of training behind that um, and it, it interlinks with the travel going forward as well she said lol 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 that so means some moments when I'm too tired to laugh I just say lol which is a <laughs> lot <laughs> way <laughs> but anyway thank you what guys for being said. on yeah well I said like I say watch the recording of this and everything I talked about I talked about a lot in a short amount of time I'll be coming later in the week with a, a really, really, really important live feed. It's going to be, you'll see some posts about it. Um, she will not be near me because I need total concentration. And it's going to be all about me adding value to you guys and nothing about bikinis. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Unless, nah. Unless what? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Anyway, yeah. thank you for being on. Way out of here. See everyone later. Off to yoga and, and yeah. And can I just touch on what you, what Steve was saying before about you know focusing on your wins. It's not just about like positivity and being positive and attracting good into life. It's it also, I think the most important thing is it's really about building like self confidence and actually feeling good about ourselves, right? Because pretty much like fucking everyone seems to, or like 95% of the population seems to have this thing where they don't feel good enough, they, they're lacking confidence, they, you know, like deep down, and even some people who come across as super confident, like deep, deep down, they have this thing where they they just don't feel good enough, or like, yeah, what do you say? Yeah, uh, she's like just cranked up a whole everyone. topic for a whole <laughs> extended live feed, but it's so true. No, but but what I, it is, yeah. But what I would say is by focusing on your wins, it's like you know a win. It doesn't a win doesn't have to be like oh my god, I went for a ten mile run today. Like oh, then I can feel good about myself. You would like, never have that win. <laughs> I hate running. <laughs> Fuck running. <laughs> Truth. But it could be something really small. It could be like. You know, you you made someone smile today, or you drank three liters of water today, or you ate healthy today, or like the little things are just as important. You know, like focus on them because it's so easy to like when things aren't going in your in your right in your life to go back to what am I doing wrong? Why is this not going right for me? Is there something that I'm doing? Is it because I'm not good enough? So. Yeah, nice to see a happy couple. Hope your journey together. We've got some superstars jumping on here. Some of the teams well. jumping on, which is fantastic. I've just seen a good mate of mine from the West jump on. I don't reckon he's game to say hi. Stevie G, say hi. No no condom jokes either, brother. Cal Matthews, how are you? <laughs> oh, if you've seen the post the other day, it was hilarious. It was it was funny as. You'll have to go back and look at my stuff. Australian humour. It is. I'm she Kiwi. loves it. She loves it. Oh, if you've got any questions, throw it on. Thank you, Julie. Ah. Oh. Done it again to me. Did that in live feed the other night. Wow. 
Anyway, guys, we need to go. We need to go to yoga. We I need what, to I go to yoga. The time is here. Tara just joined on. Hey, Tara. Yeah, see, no one's expecting me to do live feed. So usually everyone jumps on. Now they're like, oh shit, live feed. There's how I are. Awesome to connect today. We'll just let people jump on. Let's Steve just roll. Hey, Steve <laughs> Let's just, just Steve keep rolling. Steve loves the attention. How are you, Tara? Awesome this, to see you. The, I... This feeds the need for significance. Mm, that's why I haven't been on maybe for a while. But if you want to know more about that, actually, yeah, well, harmonious balance behind the scenes. Significance. Yeah, one of our needs. It's funny because like sometimes people will talk about like you know people do a post on Facebook maybe a cool selfie somewhere or I don't know like this is what I'm doing or I'm traveling to this place and um, you know people might look at it and judge and be like oh you know that person's so self-obsessed or egotistical or whatever and it's like well that is a need that every single human has is the need for like significance to feel like hey like look at me I'm special um, and so. Don't be hating on people for posting selfies. <laughs> no, don't. It's like, a, keep liking. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty like mellow way of feeding that need for significance. You know, it's better than resorting to violence or, you know, or like I even met a girl. Remember, actually, it was a friend of Steve's, um, and mm. and she was telling me about how she had like sleep paralysis, and she's like, it's one of the most terrifying things if you know that a human can ever experience and I was like you're, you're just feeding your name for a significance right there that's just a friend of mine <laughs> it wanna, just happened to be a friend you of mine feel special yeah by saying you know it's one of this is the thing that I have and people do it in so many ways and a lot of the ways um, are not healthy so nah true true I'm gonna say hello <laughs> who else we got there I said hello to Cal Des what have you missed what's your recording brother just a few little snippets yeah, Dave Leon, you're a superstar, brother. Don't know if we're doing money tonight. Cam Stewart, how are you, legend? Dave Leon, are you jumping? Are you jumping in the workshop? The workshop morning? Thursday, Dave Leon would we be want, amazing to have some men in there. Yes, only women have jumped in. So only far. women, because you men are fucking scared. Don't be pussies, come on. Don't be. I share some like really, really uncomfortable stuff. I did the other night, and I'm willing to share some more uncomfortable stuff for the aid. And the benefit the purpose, of, so. yeah, the purpose of, of men coming in, because the girls love what I have to say. They like seeing me uncomfortable. They're like, ooh, that's so cute. <laughs> but guys, uh, Bredo's on. Not jealous much. You should be here, brother. Bredo Gray. But yeah, Davo and anyone else who's interested in that, especially you guys, um, like I say, what we've got to share is a lot of our own experience. Back but to what all, we were talking about but before. But it's also practical stuff like it's learning practical. about men and women and how we're different and like how you yeah. can understand your partner better and... Um, we actually did a live feeder now in the group last night, um, and it was it was about a little situation or that. It was a day, on, a, yeah, yeah, a day that played out Friday, I think it was, and, and we really looked at it back on the day because we finished the day just so much closer, like a whole new level of connection, and it was just so awesome. We looked at back on the day and we said, "Wow, you know, looking at the events and the things that happened, it was a high emotion." It was like day. a roller coaster. Yeah, and more looked, so for her, but still. Because well, I'm the woman, I'm the feminine. <laughs> she, feminine. She's meant to do that. Like that. She's yeah. meant to do that. But we looked back and we thought, you know, like looking at what happened, if we didn't understand what we, if we didn't know what we know. It could have gone in such. It would have gone in such a different direction where we would have ended up arguing, you know, banging heads, and it just wouldn't have turned out well. But because of us knowing what we know, yeah, and it turned out turned out amazing. really, really, yeah. I was gonna say really, really cool, but amazing. Yes, you know, every time you speak, this thing goes. <laughs> <laughs> Even that, when I laugh, it goes. <laughs> What's the time? I gotta. 5.15. We oh, Samir's on. Legend. Thank you. You're a legend too. Uh, I appreciate all the all the cool people that jumped on. Who else we got there? That was beautiful, guys. Tracy. Yay. Tracy with her first yeah, live Tracy stream today. On. Well done. Thanks, Tracy. What else? Bredo, you should jump into that. I'm sure Helene would be on to you to jump into our little harmonious balancing. <laughs> Straight back at you, Samir. You're a superstar. Yes. Yeah. We're going to round it up now. We do have to go to yoga. Yeah, we do. We I need... cannot wear these shorts to yoga. And I'm not wearing a bikini. And she cannot to yoga. wear that to yoga. Well, I suggested that she <laughs> maybe she should. But that would be oh really, really interesting. I nearly crashed the car when I had a mental image of. <laughs> You're in a net. Uh... 
This live feed's gone <laughs> so much longer than I we had planned. we're even but doing a live feed. It's like we're just is... talking to ourselves. Like, there's my face and there's your face. And then there's heaps of cool people commenting on uh, it. Cam, Cam, am I wearing tights? <laughs> <laughs> You've just destroyed the mental image I had in my mind there, Cam. <laughs> oh yes, Samir, for God. sure. <laughs> Piss off, I was gonna swear then. Go away, Davo. See, this is good. This is, do you know what? Actually, I'm, I was gonna wind up. I encourage this now, this little bit of banter and all this, because it links into what I was talking about the winds and people focusing on the wrong things. Just focus on this stuff. We, we managed to have fun. A big thing about the other day it was yeah. like this and that. And if you take everything a day at a time and you break it down and you still look back at it and you focus on the good stuff and the fun stuff, like we have fun every day. She we, shits me every day. I shit her every day. She <laughs> shits me. Yo. Uh, that's not my language, really. <laughs> she shits me. Yeah. We, we, it's like, it's funny because my brother said to me, um, he's like, yeah, you guys are in a uh, honeymoon phase. It's like, mm, I don't think we've really had a honeymoon phase. Like, we, it's not all perfect. That word scares like, me. We're really, we're really <laughs> transparent. Like, we, we annoy each other. We have, like, emotions go up and down like this. Like, it's pretty, you know, it, it, I don't think we've really had a honeymoon phase, but the, the key thing is, is that at the end of it all, like whenever we, I have a blow up or I'm like, Steve, like stop annoying me or whatever, we always end up just laughing. We, we always end up laugh, just like learning to, we just laugh at each other. We end up yeah, laughing. we laugh at each other, exactly. I laugh she at laughs at me, yeah. Look at his face. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to turn gonna, this into a comedy. We, <laughs> Thank you, Cam. I appreciate the support continually, man. You're a superstar. It's, I don't like, but I don't like the word pushing. <laughs> we're not pushing forward. We're just, we just are. We're not on a live stream. We're not pushing anything. But... We, this is just us. <laughs> this we, is exactly it. We're, we're, we are in flow now, which is really, really cool. We're, we're, we're gaining that, that word balance, although you can never be balanced, but becoming more aware of, I don't know how we can... Um, it is balanced it, because it we're is, both... Learn yeah. how to really be in balance within ourselves, and therefore our relationship is really balanced. Mm, this has turned into a relationship live stream. Not my intention. See we what happens. Go. See what happens when women are around, guys. Men, <laughs> get into the workshop, and you'll see what really goes on from my perspective. <laughs> really, that's that's it. That's We're the call to, to action. Thank you, everyone, for being on. You're absolutely yeah. awesome. And I can't wait. We're so excited to run the workshop as well, and we'll see everyone. We'll see everyone in there. Yes, absolutely. All right, see you later. Bye, guys. Much love.